Samara Raja that has inaugurated its battery pack plant in Telangana. This is going to build lithium ion battery packs that will be supplied to major EV OEMs along with being used for stationary energy storage requirements. My colleague Srishti Sharma caught up with Vikramaditya Gurneni, who is the ED New Energy Business at Amara Raja, to understand the opportunities from this plant and the growth potential. So, thank you for having me. And uh, the facility we're sitting in today is the first facility, the first uh, you know, real piece in the Amaraja Giga Corridor. It's a lithium-ion battery pack manufacturing facility. Mm -hmm. It will ultimately house 5 gigawatt hour capacity, but today we are doing about 1.5. 1, 1 mm -hmm. uh, it's just the phase one. Uh, today, the kind of MOUs we have, the kind of customer base we have, uh, at least half of this capacity is already spoken for, and the other half we're, you know, we're sending out examples, we're doing trial productions right now for other customers. But largely, it's for the two- and three-wheeler applications. And we're pretty confident by, you know, in the next 24 months, we'll be able to completely not only fill this capacity, but start on our phase two as well. But Vikram, another point we wanted to understand, the two-wheeler and three-wheeler lines are already operational. But what about four-wheeler segment? Does that interest you as well? It definitely does. At the moment, uh, we've been pretty focused because we're quite bullish on the light electric mobility market in India. So the kind of uh, customer base we already enjoy, uh, be it from our packs, our chargers, we want to just uh, you know, really solidify our position in this part of the market. But uh, as I think you rightly pointed out, the four-wheeler space is picking up. There's a lot more successful models rolling out year by year. Uh, earlier on, we slightly strategically steered away from the space because many four-wheeler manufacturers were either doing pack in-house, they had already alliances tied up, so the market opportunity available to us was right, slightly limited. We, it wasn't visible to us at the time. But especially after our recent announcements on technology partnership, even on the high voltage pack, four wheelers, uh, commercial vehicles, trucks, a lot more opportunities have been flooding us. So we will definitely be taking a second look at this. But ultimately, that will provide a much larger opportunity for us in the longer run. So it's not a part of the market that we're ready to ignore. Now, but we come from this 1.5. Uh, how much demand are you expecting from either as well as Piaggio? Like one gigawatt hours or more than that? Any sense on that? So those numbers are being uh, you know, worked out at the moment. I don't have the exact figure for you. Uh, just to clarify, with Aether, we're working more on a cell sourcing strategy. Okay. So it's uh, co-developing you know, a cell that really fits their specs. And in doing so, I think one of the things we really wanted to do by working with them, Aether is one of the first two-wheeler manufacturers to really hit the road in India. If they've been around much longer than even, you know, I, I would have earlier imagined. But they have a lot of user data. Uh, they've been very, very, they have an, a very dedicated, you know, very talented team that does, that looks at the cell design, cell characteristics. So it's very helpful for us to be able to access that data, uh, the learnings that they've had in terms of how batteries function, where the cells are failing, you know, the overall cycle life assessment, and be able to plug that into our designs. So it'll be a very Indian road ready cell by the time we manufacture it. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.